Hello there, my lovely people. It's your coach, Malebu, your holistic life and wellness coach. And today we're talking all things work together for our good. But before we do that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let us grow this community together. I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a coach. I am an author. But most importantly, I have been called to awaken humanity. Welcome to Malibu TV, a place of transformation and wellness. So all things work together for our good, all things good or bad, right or wrong, working together for our good. And I took this from a Bible verse, obviously, and made it my mantra, made it my affirmation. I have shared that a mantra is a mind vehicle that de-excites your nervous system and give you a, a stable mind consciousness. So when you keep on saying all things work together for my good, you will see that all things actually conspired actually the universe conspired so that you can be successful and i know sometimes when you are thinking that you are growing through a lot many people say i'm going through a lot it's actually you growing through a lot and god is exposing you because i have been through i have been gr growing through a lot i am here sharing my story with pride so here's what uh, transpired in my in my uh, 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 story 2019 after the birth of my son I obviously went for maternity leave which is four months and after four months I found that at work they had different things you know teams were divided and all that when I got there I was given a job that I felt like my goodness is this what you think of me I mean I am a and you know us right the people who are certified the people who are educated i mean i am a certified unix system administrator and you just given me this really who was thinking for me when i was not there so i was not really happy about what the management had already uh, decided on and they tried pushing me to another department so that maybe i can feel a lot comfortable in that department but really nothing had happened and uh, yeah so uh, in the midst of everything i had to stay in that position and what i did was being uh, innovative i think i had the time because the things that i was doing did not require me to think a lot so i did not have much of a job so i would just you know uh, think of how we can solve problems that we had in our department to such a point that um i think it's the cio or yeah or recognized me i don't know his title but then is the person who's the biggest person in the IT department who then recognized that there is actually this person called Malibu Zindi, you know? And I started, you know, people asking me, how do you then solve problems? And I know very, very much that I am very creative. I, uh, I spoke about that last week and I am, I have a problem solving skill. And this is not me trying to tell you that, you know, I'm perfect more than you. You also know your, your, your skills and your talents and your gifts. So I know that I am very, very, uh, um, innovative i have a problem solving skill like there is no problem that i would have that i wouldn't solve that is me right so uh, and then while i was in the midst of you know uh, becoming this person and previously at my job i was not even using this uh, uh, the skills that i had but i had been given a chance now uh, to to use the skills that i have and that is why i say all things work together for our good now the the department um the cio uh, recognized me i got a whole lot of uh, um um uh, awards um, since I have uh, started with this company so a lot of things were going good but then the position wasn't that well until the lockdown and one day I was so frustrated with what I was doing and I wrote a letter to God and I like you know it was like a command thank you God for this job I'm earning this much or uh, and I'm starting on the 1st of September then uh, an opening um, came where two people were supposed to fill the position and they took two of my colleagues and i was not you know i was not selected and few days after then i was 
told that there's another person who has left and I need to fill that position like you know I went through another interview again and um, then the management decided yeah we want this one and that's how I got the job then but the management made it very very um, Oh, my manager made it very clear that she is not going to take anybody from another department on um, she wants to empower her people so whenever there is a position and this she said even way way back before we could know that there were people who were going to leave I was like okay you know so she told us that you know I want to empower my people so whenever there is a position within this department I will have to empower you so that you elevate to a, a, a different position right so um the people who went and migrated to uh, another department they couldn't get this opportunity and remember i came back i was not happy with my job and i wanted to go to another department but it didn't happen i had to stay there because all things work together for our good so that is the reason why today I'm, i am doing this video because sometimes we feel like people are taking uh, us for granted you know and my workplace they are taking me for granted how can they uh, make me work how can, how can they make me do this type of work how can they do this why is my boyfriend doing this and all those type of things but we don't know that all things good or bad right or wrong are working together for our good so this is my reminder for you today that whatever is happening in your life good bad right wrong is working together for your good and these are two there, there are two things i don't know if i have mentioned them before but i always mention them every every time i i talk to people that there are two ways in which things happens to you the first one is god making a way for you so the bible also says it in, in the book of um uh, jeremiah that i know the plans that i have for you and these plans are not meant to harm you but to make you prosperous so the the plans in my mind when i'm thinking about this the plans are not like okay fine malibu is going to go there and there and there and there malibu is going to go to a place that she doesn't like so that she can meet somebody else there and then after that then God transform you into being this person and I always say in my story every time that I have been a victim you know many many years ago being a victim of rape today my purpose is is to awaken humanity by doing what by helping the world heal by that time I couldn't see what God was seeing in me then the second one is you with your words with your mind uh, with your thoughts with your emotions creating this life uh, unconsciously creating the life that you don't want but again god says okay i will let her because when she is creating this life then she's going to meet this person and that person and that person and ultimately she's going to then learn from this particular story and become who i wanted her to become and i want today I'm not preaching, but I want today to quote a Bible verse in the book of First Corinthians 10 verse 13, which says, but God is a faithful God. So uh, actually when it starts, it says that what we are grow uh, growing through is uh, temptations of humans. It's not like it's for animals. It's not like for other people. It's for human beings. And God he is so faithful that he will never let you as a person be tempted beyond what you can bear. So whatever you are growing through right now, God already knows that this one can handle it. <laughs> yes, this one can handle it. I'm telling you, that's how God sees you, that you can handle whatever that you're going through. And then this Bible verse then goes further and says, if you are then tempted beyond your what you can bear then god will then make a way so that you can come out of that so that is the reason why 2019 i was so frustrated about my work that how now there are changes and nobody told me about them but god led a way and today i am working from home yes girl i wake up at at at, at uh, quarter to five i train my people and then when we're done with my team my amazing team then i shower and i go back to bed and i wake up at 10 to 5 like literally in my bed and i am working very very productive 
at home and this is actually the dream that i wanted in my life so the people who i uh, or the position where i used to be those people are back at work and uh, they are not allowed to work from home but i am i am because all things not because i'm lucky nobody's lucky here god is working with me and i am co-creating my reality with him so this is what i wanted to tell you today to remind you that all things are working together for your good all things you may have lost your marriage you may have lost your relationship money business clients or whoever but all things are working together for your good all things good or bad right or wrong working together for your good so thank you for this time i hear a whole lot of dogs bugging while i'm doing this if they are really disturbing you i'm sorry for that because i have opened my window it is very hot in centurion today thank you for watching this i love you and i will see you next time please subscribe share with your friends and also comment